Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Next step is to go to the documents folder. So open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, open your username folder. Now open the documents folder. Open my games. Over here you will see this farming simulator 2025 game. Or you can simply click on documents over here and then open my games and then open the game folder. Now over here you can see game file, make a right click and then open with notepad. This is game.xml file. Now scroll down. Over here you can see renderer d3 d3d underscore 12. So over here change the value uh, for 12 to 11. So instead of 2 type in 1 d3d underscore 11. Now you can go to file click on save and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work this time you can go to the folder and then again open this open with notepad and this time you can change the value to 10 so d3d underscore 10 then go to file then click on save now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus program like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows setting go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down click on manage the ransomware protection click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps this time open x64 folder open uh, select this exe file click on open once it is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Open the Steam, Steam apps, common. So wherever the game is installed, select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added again click on browse and then open this x64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok now you can launch the game and then check next step is to delete the game.xml file now create a backup before you delete it so you can open file explorer and then go to documents over here open my games open the game folder here you can see game xml file you can copy this file create a backup just paste it just create a backup now once you have a backup now you can delete this file and then you can launch the game and then check if something wrong happens you can always put the file back and then check now next step is to Delete the shader cache folder in documents folder. This time open file explorer and then go to documents once again. Open my games, open game folder. Here you can see shader underscore cache. So you can again create a backup, copy this folder, paste it. And once you have a backup, you can now delete this folder. Make a right click. Or you can even delete the content of this folder. You can open this and delete everything from here. Or I will delete this complete folder. Now once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. If you face any problem, you can always, you know, put it back. Whenever you want, you can put it back and then you can check. Now the next step is to delete the game folders in documents folder. Now this time delete the complete game folder in documents. Create a backup first. You will lose all the game progress. 
you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree uh, you can go to the documents folder once again open my games and then this time create a backup copy this complete folder and then paste it to the desktop just create a backup now once you have a backup now you can delete this complete folder you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch once you delete it now you can launch the game and then check whenever you want if you want you can put the folder back now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then again make a right click go to properties in this time in the launch option type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can type in dash dx10 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next next step now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder now for this you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files go to the game installation folder over here you can see the game exe file just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work, open x64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working go to properties and then again go to this tab put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select win windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working do the same thing with this cxc file make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working again go over here windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game again not working try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game from here and then check still not working in that case you can uncheck all these boxes from here so when you put a check on all these boxes if not working you can uncheck hit apply and then do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then make sure that you hit apply over here and then click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current driver installed in your computer so uninstall the current amd graphic card driver then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to now run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then open go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added 
so you can scroll down and find the game in the list so once you see the game over here click on the drop down option and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here select high performance now again click on add desktop app and then this time open x64 select this exe file and then click on add again scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game click on it select high performance over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings this is important go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 you have to install these two files x86 and x64 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file So run this exe file x64 and then again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed now once both are installed now you can restart your computer after the installation restart is a must make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices so uh, if you have any kind of uh, hotas uh, any kind of usb adapter any kind of usb devices which you are not using so if you have any external devices which you are not using disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it disable overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off now you can launch the game and then check next step is to close all the other overlay application so if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have ge force experience running go to ge force experience settings and then turn off in game overlay so close or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running revert tuner running any kind of overclocking application running close it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then so type in system configuration and then click on system configuration over here and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok 
and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. And then like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then find the latest BIOS and then install the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to launch the game in window mode, lower down resolution and graphics settings. So now for this, if, if you are able to launch the game, if you are able to launch the game, you can try this step. If you are unable to launch the game, you can skip this step. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to options and then go to over here you can see display settings go to display settings now over here lower down resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then uh, i will keep it 1920 into 1080p and frame rate uh, limit i will set it to 60 vsync in my case is off and window mode uh, you can try window mode over here you can select window mode and then you can apply the settings when you apply the setting the system uh, the game will restart and then keep those settings now click on yes to keep those settings and then you can check the performance now the next step is to the last step is to uninstall and re reinstall the game to different drive so you can uninstall the game if nothing is working, you can make a right click manage uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to different drive. Like if the game is installed to uh, any external drive like D drive or E drive or F drive, try to install the game to C drive and then you can check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.